Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 15 of my Minecraft Stone Block Let's Play. <laughs> Where today we're going to hopefully go to the mining dimension. So let's get to it. Um, in between episodes, I sort of started preparing for this, and I swapped out our basic drawer that was above this cobble gin with uh, a tier 3 crafter from RF Tools that I had already made this and was going to use it to compact our iron ore pieces or not just iron but just the ore pieces into the ore chunks and this only had eight slots and I needed nine so I decided to go with the uh, I think it's X Compressum. Uh, I think it's like um, just a compressor, <laughs> an auto compressor. I forgot what it's called, but um, I put that there and I programmed it up. Uh, I was very pleased to find out that, um, yeah, auto compressor is what it's called. I was very pleased to find out that that cobblestone generator will feed into that. So I just placed it on top of it, easy peasy, and I swapped out our tier 5 cobblestone generator with the one that was here. It was just iron. I was going to go ahead and upgrade it, but I didn't have uh, all of the blaze rods and stuff. and I was feeling lazy, so I just went and grabbed the other one from over there and swapped them out uh, because this one is much much faster and the the iron one was going so slow and I wanted to make sure that this was ready for this episode oh yeah so I already um, programmed it in to do the compressed cobblestone uh, which is nine cobblestone the double compressed the twiple, twiple the twiple compressed <laughs> and the quadruple compressed uh, which we only need two of for what we're gonna be doing today I think it's to um, let's go ahead and make sure we got to make the mining tool to in order to build the blocks that we need to create the portal to go to the mining dimension this is the tool that we need oh it's not quadruple it's quintuple Oh, dude, I totally thought I was on top of this. So, in order to let... We need to get on the recipe that we want to create. So, we need to create some quintuples. And we want it to keep it in the internal buffer. This is the external buffer, and you can actually pull things out with this. But if you tell it to keep it in the internal buffer, it won't pull them out automatically. So we just hit apply, blank, and then it'll put it into uh, quintuple. And then I just hit for it to remember where all the places are. That way um, it will automatically put those in those places. Like they're sort of locked to that spot. Um, and as you can see, the cobblestone is coming in quite fast. It's uh, a lot better than before. I was like, oh my god, this is so slow. So, yeah. And I just put a specter coil on top of it, or in front of it, because I had it. Oh, dude, Nikki. Nikki is trying to eat me now. Okay, so we just need to get... Actually, we gotta wait. Actually, I need to do... Oh, man. I messed it up. Now it's going to put the quintuple there. Um, oh, and I forgot that you can, if you put the packing tape, I've been getting the packing tape in my goose bags. I use the packing tape on the drawer and then you can just break it with your axe and it sort of seals it up so none of your contents spill out and then you can pick it up. <laughs> so that's what I have is the 
drawer that was there. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break it and then put all the stuff and things in there. There. Now we have a, a regular drawer. Hello, Nikki. Just keep moving. Don't sit in front of the monitor. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. So let's see. It's almost got another quadruple. All right. Now I need to put... Oh, see, it won't even put it there now. Well, we need to tell it to forget... Oh man, and then it's gonna forget that one. Maybe we'll just let, we'll just let it run. Okay, well, I thought it was only the quadruple compressed. My bad, it actually takes the quintuple compressed. And this is gonna take it a while uh, to build up to the quintuple. So, I do have... In the loot bags before, when I was playing with my husband, we got these um, items that you could eat and it would give you like um, an internal crafting grid of a, a three by three instead of a two by two, or it would give you extra inventory space. So what I have on me is all of the things we need to make that except for just a couple things and I want to go and check because I only have one poisonous potato <laughs> and that was gotten uh, I was about to throw it away and I'm so glad I didn't because uh, it's one of the things in the recipe so I, I was like well, what is the poisonous potato used in anyway and I was like oh look this it's, can make a heart container which is awesome look at all the stuff it takes uh, but we're getting like cakes and fish and these golden apples we're not getting pumpkin pie but I can make that and I'm not getting beetroot um, so we need to like maybe think about getting beetroot growing too but these you can get an upgrade to your inventory so you can carry around extra stuff and this is the one I want to make um, today for sure because having that crafting grid up, because I'm always having to run to whatever, you know, I have crafting grids everywhere <laughs> so that I, I don't have to run as far, but this would be awesome. This would also be awesome to carry around more stuff, but I, I think I want this more. Um, and I believe I have everything except for a crafting table so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make up a stone one and then doot doot there we go uh, these used to drop in the loot bags but I guess they've been taken off and you can now craft them I don't know if you could craft them before I always got them but um, I also think they disappear if you die, so that's something to be aware of too. Well, at least the crafting thing does. And if you just click on this, it opens up a 3x3 three three crafting grid. And then returns you back so you can access your baubles or whatnot. So yeah, that, that is freaking awesome. I love it. So now we can craft things in our own inventory. And we can make the other one. We just need like an ender chest. Oh my goodness, look at that. I had to switch this over to area. Because once I, uh, I added um, two more plots of potatoes. And then I tore up the wheat. And then replanted it in these sections here. Um, so it looks like, you know, while this says it's taking more power, I'm using this, um, specter coil. So I believe I have extra, extra power to spin just to let it run. 
that's not the the power solution that I wanted, but I wanted to try them out. And this is a good way to see, you know, like how much power do I need and whatnot. Also, I was looking at, since we got to wait for a mining tool, let's do at loot. And you can go through and see, you can, you know, there's like no recipe for this, but um, it's, if you, it, it's, you use it, I think you, if you right click, no, you have to, yeah, if you right click on it, it shows you what all you can get out of these bags. And you can see that the patient bag will give another star, but it's a very, very small chance, so you have to keep opening them because it just keeps spitting out another patient bag. So we need to get that set up because um, it would be nice to get nether stars, although I don't know. I mean, there are some things if you look what they're used for, you can uh, you do these to summon the ender dragon again. Uh, I don't know what this is for, but I think um, I think if you have this, you can change biomes, maybe? I'm not certain. Uh, oh, and this, if you get uh, <laughs> two nether stars, and I don't know what this I redstone is. Well, that's not too bad. Um, well, I thought, oh, what you have to do is you have to build this and then put a dragon egg on top of it. And then it gives you 500 grid points, which is freaking crazy. What? Uh, I don't know what some of this stuff is for. The crystal matrix ingot is used in some really high-end recipes. Uh, I don't know what the structure frames are for. Actually, I think it's for environmental tech. Um, Oh, that's with the, the miners and the solar power and stuff. You know, we're not there yet. Oh, yeah, the wither builder. I can't wait to get to that part. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of different recipes for the wither builder because they have are swapping out these machine casings. All oh, the ultimate furnace. Um, those are really awesome. It's super super fast and efficient like you put one stick in and you can <laughs> you can smell the stack of cobblestone it's so fast nether star on toast holy cow look at that you can eat a nether star wow well, i don't know what that does it sounds like it's for a quarry Maybe that'll do a five by five by five at a time. I don't know, but that's that looks pretty crazy. Um, an advanced wand core, a slime cube. Oh, that's an expensive slime cube. <laughs> let me tell you, a player interface. Now, in some of those, you can use like it was really. Say, for instance, in like Crash Landing, you could use that to manipulate your own inventory, I believe, to swap things out. Say you wanted to always have a stack of torches on you, and then you could have it pull from your um, digital storage where you have, have it auto-craft torches as you need them, and then it will just keep filling up your stuff. <laughs> but wow a maim trap that sounds interesting a monolith of spawning oh my god that, that sounds like something I don't want 
to do. <laughs> a ludicrite. That's a ludicrous. Ludicrous speed. Um. This is used in something else as well. They're also used in wyvern cores, which those are pretty expensive. But once you get the the wither builder, nether stars are. You can make flying rings, an unbreakable wand. Uh, look at these swords. They start at plus twenty seven attack damage. Now there's. Um, these are like, I think, some of the swords you can get in your quest reward chest. I've seen, I don't know, I've watched some Let's Plays, like uh, Direwolf20 got one that was enchanted where it did like 9,999 damage or something crazy where you could just one-shot the Ender Dragon. Uh, so, yeah. A Pharaoh's Beacon... Fertilization core. Oh, look at all this stuff. And I have no idea what this stuff does. I believe the charms, though, those can be put into armor. The um, mystical agriculture armor. Sort of like enchantments and whatnot. Oh wow, this is a immolation blade. Cool. A blazing immolation blade. <laughs> wow. He can make an, an uh, a reinforced watering can with it. Holy cow. And a compressed nether star block. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. This repair tablet. If you put it in your inventory, it repairs items that don't use um, RF. So, like if you have RF tools, um, tools that you can recharge, like um, an acceleration wand. A lot of these wands that we've been getting. <gasps> what did I get? How did I get two poisonous potatoes? Oh! I, I didn't, I guess I got them and I didn't see that we got them because I just zipped everything. Oh, that's awesome. So now we can make the upgraded inventory. There was this Gavin. Let's go do it. And I think this let's look. Uh, yeah. We have plenty of Eye of the Enders and Obsidian. So that's not a thing. So yeah, I, I actually started looting some of the epic loot bags because you can actually look and see what is in the epic loot bag and there's not a whole lot. Um, I keep getting a bunch of growth crystals and diamond armor, draconium, um, I've gotten a couple of these summoning pendulums and some more weather skeleton skulls, um, various things. I haven't actually gotten any super superium stuff yet but um i started opening these because you can get spectacles you can't get them out of the legendary i thought the legendary should have a bigger choice like it should be able to get you everything from the epic loot bag but at a greater chance but that's not how it works, so <laughs> so I'm glad I looked because I wasn't getting any Spectre Coils and I, I really like those. Um, so yeah, now we got a few extra Spectre Coils and I've been sort of using those to power those farms over there. And I wanted to see, I didn't even look, I didn't get to the rare ones. Is there really anything that we would want I mean nothing really there there are these these charms like the air charms but we've already gotten some
and this the the uncommon gets you the fire charm and we already have a couple of those what's good though about the uncommon is that you also get like um Oh, look, you can get floral. I've never gotten floral fertilizer from those. Uh, you can get, like, the quartz enriched iron and the silicon, which, you know, it's not a big deal because you can actually get that uh, for yourself. So, yeah. But it is kind of nice getting it. Uh, now we have it, and I know... Uh, so now it looks like, I mean, this is all different from when I was playing before because that's how it was, is that you could get everything from all the bags. You just had a greater chance of getting it from the legendary one. So it looks like they changed around all of the loot bags. Like this one gives you mostly food, food items like fish and seeds and, uh, those packing tapes so we don't really need all of that stuff uh, so yeah I think I should just keep looting epic and legendary loot bags but that's not why we came over here we need one of these guys and some of that and <laughs> we can use our handy dandy internal crafting gear because I don't have a I don't have a crafting grid in here. Um, where's our recipe? There we go! And this inventory is sort of like the other one. <laughs> oh yeah! So now we got an R here and if you click on that you get boom! All of this uh, basically doubles your space so you have the hot bar and then 27 slots and then you have a hot bar and 27 slots and look it even gives you four extra uh, armor things so I think you could have a second set of armor on there and if you look you can so you can swap armor boink boink that is awesome <laughs> uh, I, I never really noticed that before, but yeah, you you can swap armor and stuff, and you can have uh, items in here and then swap them with your hot bar. So you could have different tools, um, or you could have a set for gathering and then a set for building, and just have a bunch of building materials and go, boop, okay, I'm ready. So that is awesome. I love it. Uh, awesome. Okay, so let's go check on our cobble and see if we have our other quintuple guy ready. We had one. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay, let's forget and now remember. Okay, it's only like halfway through not even halfway through the second quintuple compressed oh man that is crazy so um oh, i thought that i thought it only needed the quadruple oh man look at all this stuff so what i've been doing with this is let's get rid of this potato I've just been uh, putting all of my, my common and the uncommon bags in here. And even the rares. And just pulling out the legendary. It makes <laughs> looting all of these a lot easier because it would take me I don't know, quite a bit of time to go through all the stuff and loot. If you loot all the common bags, whew, it just starts taking a long, long time. So, um, I think I have, I, I'm curious as to, let's, let's do this real quick so that can be, uh, 
can you put like can I put more of these on my farm does it stack let's go see oh look we got some kitties Okay, so oh, I'm going to need to go downstairs. It would be just easiest to get downstairs. Oh, by the way, Happy New Year to everyone. It is now officially 2019. Let's see if this will help. I'm really going to have to, uh, if this works, I'm going to have to uh, hook up a storage system for this uh, get it to where it pulls out and then like say right here we would have a drawer controller and then I'll probably move out um, that grinder the Pam's harvest craft grinder Oh, dude, look at that. Who needs to upgrade it when it's giving me so much stuff? There we go. Uh, so, yeah, I could move this out and put these guys in the middle. I could also move these over to the middle because that's where I get all that stuff from. Well, I'm not sure. It, it looks like it's growing faster. Look at... Wow. So maybe I might take those and put them on this uh, mystical agriculture farm. Or just open more loot bags. Because I'm not sure if this one gets seeds when it harvests. When I harvest them, I get a chance to get seeds. But it looks like it's gone... Uh, done quite a bit and not gotten any seeds at all so I don't know um so I've got a bunch of ground fish in here that I was working on so let's go ahead and take that out why wow so that really so we could put the drawer controller there, put some trim to, I guess, right here, and then just put our little guys over here. I think I have some trim on me. Uh, yes, I do. So, this one, that's all we would need. And I do have the packing tape, so I could just go boink, 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 boink. And put that back away, and then break these guys. And move them over here. Yeah, it's a shame that it doesn't say what it is when you're hovering over it. Yeah, let's go ahead and place our thing back there and we'll put this guy over here and throw that yes 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 okay so now what we need is a drawer controller and then just a like um I really want to get out of using the extra utility pipes because uh, they are really slow unless you put upgrades in them. And we don't... Um, another thing I might 
look at doing because I'm, a, I'm so scared to use all the extra utility upgrades that we have because I only have like 80 and we could make more water mills but they have diminishing returns on them since we have uh, I think six after you place like the fifth or yeah on the fifth and sixth one you start getting diminishing returns and the more you place the more uh, the diminishing return is so maybe I'll look at um, some other uh, let's see at extra you Oh, there's extra cells in here so you have to put the U otherwise you get that mixed in there too I believe there's like a lava um, a lava mill as well as a water mill where are the mills here they are there's a lava mill uh, operates when adjacent to lava Oh, this tells you um, I guess once you exceed 64 grid points there's efficiency loss and this one you can have much more with the lava so we could go up to 200 grid points before we see any diminishing returns with the lava mills um, there's windmills. I don't know that that would be very effective here. I guess it is. Huh. Uh, and then there's a fire mill. Operates when placed over fire. But that's that you can only get 40 grid points. So it looks like lava you get to get a lot of grid points off. So I might work on that extending our little water room and adding some lava mills they're not that hard to make just some stone burnt and resonating in gold uh, uh, actually it's a lot easier than the water mill because the water mill took a lot of redstone so yeah um we'll ch i'll play with that a little bit in between episodes uh, <laughs> I can't believe my, oh my goodness, look at this. This is, uh, oh, <laughs> it's, it's, holy cow, okay. <laughs> they definitely work, they definitely work. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> holy cow, it filled that up in no time. Oh man. Oh, and we have 32 stacks of seeds now. Whew. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, maybe we'll turn this back down to single for a while. Um, let's go, let's go make, um, I actually think I have an emerald upgrade that I got from, let's go open these. And I'm going to, probably in between episodes, I'm sorry, I'm going to oh yeah, this, I'm going to put this in the seed drawer. Oh, look at all that. It's backing up. So that it will, it can hold more seeds. I don't think anything else. This, oh, the potatoes, because I have three things of potatoes. Okay, <laughs> well, um, that's crazy. Um, what I might do is if I fill up the potatoes and the carrots, uh, I might take those off. I wanted more potatoes just so I could get um, the poisonous potato, because I had, I had the one plot and it just seemed like it was taking forever so I put three down and now we have six poisonous potatoes so we might even look at making some of those uh, heart containers because I believe these give you extra life 
Uh, but I don't know, do we, are we getting raw, we're not getting raw rabbit from these. I wonder why. I think maybe we might have to use a different bait. I would think bait that uses carrots would attract rabbits. Um, so let's look. How can you make that? You can get it out of rabbit essence from mystical agriculture. Mm, or ground trap with fruit bait. Oh, you need fruit bait. Well, I can do that because um, I believe I can just take this and I have some string. I'll just make up as much of the fruit bait as I can. Can you not use watermelon in fruit bait? What? Okay, let's look at this again. We need rabbit. We can make, get it in a ground trap from fruit bait. Okay, this is listing a lot of things. All of, it looks like all of the Pam's fruits. Dates, figs. Some of these are trees and some of them are plants. I did get some, oh, it looks like they're mallow berries from Natura. Other berries, oh, you can use apples. What? Okay, I have apples. Okay, it looks like it's gone through the whole thing. So it doesn't take melon. That's strange. Okay, so I am going to switch the bait to fruit bait so we can get, I didn't know it gave you different things. That's, um, that's kind of cool. Uh, I added more saplings as well so we have all of the base vanilla trees the acacia and the birch i didn't have going i just had uh jungle wood spruce dark oak i really thought the dark oak would give apples as well and the regular oak so there's our apples our fruit and i can just do this here Awesome. So we got two stacks. So make all of that up that we can. Awesome. And I'll be putting that in the traps, in our ground traps, um, to try to get some duck meat so we can make these potatoes into hearts. Um, what else do we need? We need these blocks, a block of emeralds. Oh my goodness. Holy. Um, also, we need beetroot. Like, I, I haven't seen beetroot seeds at all. Um, there's a beetroot seed. How do you get that? You can use a heavy sieve. If you sieve dirt in a flint mesh. Uh, now I wonder if that's only the, okay, yeah, you can get it. So I haven't, I, I bet I've, oh, I don't think I've sieved any in the flint mesh. I sieved them in uh, the string mesh. Yeah, and I moved all of my seeds, so if I have any seeds at all, it's over here. Industrial hemp. Yeah, I didn't get, didn't have any, so I must not have sieved. So I'll sieve up 
get some beetroot seeds and I'll probably dig up a plot of the um, potatoes and replace that with the beetroot in our one farm we have up and yeah we'll go from there and I was hoping to go to the mining dimension today but we didn't get there let's go check is it even close uh, it's getting close it only needs two more quadruple but we'll go ahead and plan that for next episode uh, I guess we could open all these bags let's put away this cobble and I will I will fix up that sorting system wow that those growth crystals just Zorched our farm and made it grow really super fast. That little guy can't even hold everything once it runs for like five minutes. It just gets all the things. So that is awesome to know that those will work like that. We definitely need to open up some more epic loot bags. So um, maybe next episode we'll look at trying to go into the mining dimension again. Um, and maybe start thinking about some digital storage because I want uh, I, I want to not have to open any loot bags ever again. <laughs> uh, that would be nice. So I mean, with these blocks, we could automate it, but we need to go into. So maybe we'll get a little bit into Ender I O in the next episode because they have some pretty cheap pipes and we don't have to get into digital storage to utilize those and to automate this so yeah but it would be nice to just get it digitalized from the get-go and not have to worry about the ender io stuff so maybe we'll get into the refined storage in the next episode and see what that's all about uh we have um yeah, we have a specter coil that we can use to run a very small system. So that is going to be a thing. So let's go ahead and open these up. Oh, look, an acceleration one. I've been like just dumping them back in here uh, along with the gold stuff because I have to run, I have to run all the way across the world just to get the gold smelted. So it's just easier, it's a little bit faster to just toss it in here. Um, I've been just saving up the gold or running it over there as I get done, but we'll clear up a little bit of room by doing that. Yeah, tons of diamonds in these. And honestly, what we could do is we could put, uh, we could put these in here and get the epic ones. A lot of epic ones to get more of those. Oh, a little bit of lag there. It didn't want to. I like those growth crystals though. Those are the tier three ones oh man we need those on like all of the farms and then they'll be really amazing so <laughs> i will empty up all of these i want to get um i want to make sure i have see we have two more farms so if i get another specter coil i can go ahead and open up uh the rest as just epic let's just go ahead and throw that in there i have wands i have all of these wands already uh we did get like almost two stacks of diamonds out of all that stuff that i had sitting there <laughs> it was uh yeah it built up for quite a long time and we can throw that in that in there it's not really much, but it's a little bit towards getting another bag. Okay, let's go ahead. 
There we go. Let's get them all. Yep. Oh, yeah. See, you can get some diamond stuff out of these, which is good, but I'd just like one more specter coil. If you please. There we go. Okay, so um, we can go ahead and throw those back in and then get another couple legendary ones because I like those growth, see the tier three growth crystal. I like to have all of those uh, <laughs> eight more on all the farms. Oh, bless you, kitty. Okay, throw that in there. I have a system to, yeah. So three more of those. There's two more specter coils for our farms, which is awesome. Um, that can go in there. Uh, I will take all of these diamond things over and get them done up and throw these in here. So there we go. Uh, we're, we're just moving right along. Uh, I feel pretty happy with the progression I've made and I feel like I'm going somewhere and at the same time I feel like I have enough time to sit back and just have fun. Like with the cooking for blockheads, I don't really need the farming. I have so many apples, I could just cook them and eat the apples, but that's no fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fun having all the... Oh, man. <laughs> There's so many bags. See, I really need to get this automated. I really need to. It's, it's, um, it's getting a bit tedious. Anyway. We'll see you guys next time where we'll hopefully get into the mining dimension. I was planning on that for today, but it didn't happen. But it should be ready for the next episode. So I hope you come back and see that with me. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.